Sorry. We're having technical problems. So, we're back. This is round six. Sunday night, very of, late. I don't yes, even know what time it is. Of secret laboratory experiments on fidget spinners. Testing for lead, mercury, cadmium, and arsenic using an X-ray fluorescence spectrometer by a trained and certified technician, me. All right. So, this is Tamara. Tamara writes at TamaraRubin.com and Lead Safe Mama. She is also the director and producer of the documentary Misled America's Secret Epidemic. My name is Carissa, and I write at CreativeGreenLiving.com. And we are testing fidget spinners. So, what we've been doing so far, we have a large collection of fidget spinners, and these are the results so far. We have crowned quite a few that contain lead, and most of the ones that contain lead contain very high, very concerning levels of lead. And there are plenty that are unleaded, which is great, but the ratio of leaded to unleaded is concerning to us. So Tamara is over here using the XRF, and she is testing this fidget spinner, and I will show you guys the brand details um, once she is done with that. Hi, Gina. Thank you for <laughs> tuning in. And one thing to note, okay, so this one came out unleaded. And you can Wonderful. show them the pictures on Great. that. Great. So this one is lead free. This one, it has um, plain black bearings. It is from Hand Fidgets with a Z. Spinners. Long lasting spin action. Let's see. Wearing this product as a novelty gift item and is not intended to be used as a toy. <laughs> that is the first time I have seen that warning on anything we've tested. That's it. That's Hip the Hipbrothers.com. That, you know, and that's the kind of disclaimer you would think is on an item with lead. Yeah. But it doesn't have any. So good for them. Or That's so far. really funny. It yeah. doesn't have any detectable lead that we can detect with the XRF. I am i can't say for sure that it's 100% lead free. But the XRF didn't find any, which that's pretty good. It's a good screening tool. Yeah. So this one is testing positive for lead at yeah. um, 226 parts per million. Oh. And again, this that's on this bearing. So this is the third kind on of the low edge lead. Bearing. We, we found ones that were um, much, much higher, like 30,000 parts per million. But, but with this testing positive for low lead, it's just kind of interesting because uh, we, we really, what we should do in another round is uh, have my husband cut these things apart. Yeah. Get, get permission to cut the leaded ones apart. Yeah. And, um, and see if there's leaded lubricant inside. That, that can that sometimes be the thing. That's interesting. So the thing with this one that's fascinating to me, we tested the last time we had an XRF, which was about three weeks ago, we tested one that I, if they, this was next to it in the lineup, I couldn't have distinguished the two of them. It was nearly identical. Right. Exactly. And that one was totally lead free. And this one has lead in it. It's low lead, but um, we shouldn't have lead in our kids' toys, you guys. I mean, that's not even Well, thing. obviously, it's not a kid's toy. That's what this says. Well, that this is the first one that has said it's not a kid's toy. Did you get a like, close-up of that? Wait, I'm lying. This one? Yeah. yeah. You can do it like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah. It's just crazy. That, man, that's so funny. Can we zoom back out now? Yeah. There we go. Um, so, you know, most of the items that we've been seeing, we're going to do our tally mark. So this is for the red one that was unleaded and then low lead on the green camouflage one. Um, and when we yeah. say low lead, we found some that were like 80 or 90 parts per million and some that were, you know, like this 200. And so I think that, again, it, they might actually be higher lead once you dissect them because the XRF is only reading what it can fit in the scope and see directly right. immediately. Yes. Right. Yeah. How's that one? Positive for lead. Low Bummer. lead. This is like super unexpected. I, I was, um, I did a second test to make sure. I bet and, it's the paint, right? Uh, it's really hard to know. Actually, it was on the bearing. It could oh. be the paint. On so the, um, the thing to note is um, this is this this is the scope. And when you put something in front of the scope, it's going to, because it's not the same size and it's round, it, it's going to get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. So it could... The center did not test leaded, so I don't think it was the paint, actually. Okay. So All this right. is going to dilute, yeah, it's going to dilute the, the reading when that happens. So if we can read the... Thanks, Sarah. Sarah says great work. So we got two more for that we have to add. Do you add the last one to low lead? Yeah, put it to low lead. We're going to put this down here. Okay. So we are going to be back in five minutes, you guys, with another batch of fidget spinners. Stay tuned.